Ann Feldman from the Bellevue Public Schools Technology Team, and I'm here today to show you how to put a stick around puzzle into Schoology so that your classmates can play the puzzles you create. So you're in Stick Around and you've got your project created. The next thing you need to do is name your project. So I'm going to hit the share arrow and give it a name. So I'm going to call this project, maybe you could call it your first name, like if your first name were Gavin, you could call it Gavin and then we could just call it um, Puzzle Today. But you would name it whatever name you like it to be named. So we'll export that and that will create your puzzle. Because remember, in Stick Around you have two things, a project and a puzzle. So let's also then click on My Projects to go back to your projects page and save your project in case you need to edit it again. And you can name it the very same thing so you know that the puzzle and the project are both going to be this game so that you understand that. So we've saved your project and your puzzle. Now the one that you'd like to share out so other people can play is the puzzle, the game itself. So let's go back over to the puzzles tab and then we're going to touch the word select and then choose your puzzle. So we're choosing Gavin Puzzle, and then the share arrow in the upper left corner. So click that arrow. Then it says open in. So we're going to be sharing that to your Schoology account. So open in, we'll just touch open in, and then up come your choices. So we'll come across here to copy to Schoology. We'll select that. And then it will come up and it'll say, where would you like to put it in Schoology? And we're going to add it to my resources. And you'll go ahead and add it to your home. It is possible to create some folders here within Schoology as well, if you'd like to organize them a little bit more. But otherwise, you can just upload it to your home resources and that will be just kind of a catch-all for all of your files. Once your file is saved and stick around, then you can put it into the discussion your teacher made for you. So I'm going to go back out of here and I'm now in Schoology. You will go ahead and pick the course. So in this example, we're going to go to Daily Oral Language and there is a folder for stick around puzzles. And inside of that, it's organized by language stick around puzzles. And you'll notice a discussion for declarative and interrogative sentences. The discussion thread is where you can post your puzzle so your classmates can find it. Click on the discussion tab, and now you'll just click on the plus button in the upper right corner, and then we're going to click on attach from your resources that you put into home. And there is your puzzle. So the green check mark and then you must type a few words here. So again, just call it your puzzle name. So I'll say Gavin Puzzle. And then I'm going to click the green check mark again. And now your puzzle has been added into the discussion.